Today we're going to take a look at converting in between particles and grams. So we need two conversion factors in order to do this. We need to know that one mole is equal to the molar mass of an element or a compound. And we need to know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. We need both of those unit conversions in order to convert all the way from particles into grams. So let's try an example. Let's say that I have 5.00 grams of aluminum. And I want to know how many particles are there in that sample. Well, we're going to need both of our unit conversions. We're going to start with 5.00 grams of aluminum. And the first thing that we're going to do is convert our grams of aluminum into moles of aluminum. So one mole using this conversion factor up here is equal to 26.99 grams of aluminum. 26.99 grams of aluminum. And I know that by looking at the periodic table, I look at the atomic mass of aluminum and it is 26.99. If I were to stop my conversion factor here, I would know how many moles of aluminum were in this sample, but I'm asked for the number of particles. So we have to use one more unit conversion. We have to use one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Now the question is, does this large number go on the top of our fraction or the bottom of our fraction? So we need to know what unit we are looking for. We're looking for the unit particles, which means that it needs to go on the top of our fraction because I need the unit of mole to cancel out. So let's just look for just a second before we solve this in our calculator. Let's take a look at our units. Remember that when you have a unit on the top and the bottom of a fraction, that unit will cancel out. So I have grams on the top and the bottom of my fraction, and I have moles on the top and the bottom of my fraction. So all of those units cancel, and I'm left with the unit particle. And that's exactly what the question is asking for. That's exactly what we want. So we need to make sure that at the end, we're left with the unit that we are looking for. So remember, we multiply everything that's on the top of our fraction, and we divide by everything on the bottom of our fraction. So in your calculator, you should have 5.00 divided by 26.99, and you should get 1.12 times 10 to the 23rd particles of aluminum. One thing to note when trying to go in between grams and particles is that we have to use the unit mole in between. The mole is the bridge between grams and particles. If I'm trying to go from grams into particles, the first thing I have to do is go into moles and then I can go into particles. If I'm trying to go backwards from particles into grams, the first thing I have to do is convert into the mole and then I can convert into grams. So going between grams and particles, grams to particles, it's always a two-step conversion. If you're only using one conversion factor, you've done something incorrectly. It's a two-step conversion problem. So let's try the opposite direction. Let's say I have 2.98 times 10 to the 22nd particles of phosphorus. And I want to know how many grams are in that sample. So I write out my 2.98 times 10 to the 22nd particles. My first step is to convert into moles. I'm trying to find moles, so that will go on top of my conversion factor. And one mole is equal to 6.02 times 
10 to the 23rd particles. And I know that I put that on the bottom because I need my unit of particles to cancel out. And that I'm not done yet. If I stopped here, I would know how many moles were in this sample, but I want to know how many grams are in this sample. I'm trying to find grams, so grams should be on top of my unit conversion, and one mole should be on the bottom. And my conversion factor that I use is one mole is equal to the molar mass. The molar mass of phosphorus is 30. 0.97 grams. I found that by looking at the periodic table. So in your calculator, you should type out 2.98 times 10 to the 22nd divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and then multiply that answer by 30.97 because we multiply everything on the top of our fraction and divide by whatever's on the bottom. And let's double check our units. I have particles on the top and bottom of my fraction, so those cancel. I have moles on the top and the bottom of my fraction, so those cancel, and I'm just left with grams. So our answer should be equal to 1.53 grams of phosphorus. So this was some background information on how to convert in between grams and particles. If you have any other questions, be sure and leave a comment. There are more examples on my channel, so be sure and take a look if you're still struggling with this concept. Thank you for stopping by.